everyone and welcome to Black Ribbon Studio. My name is Denise and this is my crochet podcast episode 45. Can you believe it? 45 episodes. I want to thank all of my viewers and subscribers for tuning in and thank you, thank you guys so much for your support. Now today I have two finished objects, a very exciting whip, and I won a very exciting giveaway. Yes. Now before we get started though, I want to just uh, give you a little update on what's been going on around here. Um, so, you know, we're all kind of um, on lockdown in one way or another. And so I just don't get to spend as much time with my grandchildren as I would like to. And uh, the other day, my daughter-in-law was uh, out running errands and uh, she had the children with her and she just happened to drive by uh, my apartment complex and really didn't give it a second thought. But my youngest grandchild is three years old and she really was like, mommy, I want to go see grandma. And, um, so, um, my daughter-in-law kind of didn't really know what to do, and she was just kind of going to blow it off, but then my little baby darling started to cry because she wanted to see her grandma. So, we arranged, later that day, we arranged a little drive-by meeting, and it was just wonderful it was wonderful we do talk on the phone and we do facetime but and i'm still not sure that she was really um happy with the fact that they did a drive-by because she just wants to go to grandma's house so that was awesome and um we ventured out to um well not ventured out we actually ventured in because i've uh managed to order groceries from Walmart twice and that worked out really well so I'm pleased with that if you're on the fence thinking about maybe ordering your groceries from Walmart I suggest you go ahead and do it and I checked all the boxes that they could make substitutions because I really wanted to see how all of this was going to work and one of the things to keep in mind is that for example, I ordered a half gallon of milk and they didn't have any half gallons. So they sent me a full gallon of milk, but charged me the same price as a half gallon. So I'm okay with all of that. I'm okay with all of that. So give it a try if you've been thinking about it. Also, I'm sure you've heard by now, we here in Charlotte, had an earthquake on Sunday. Yeah, it was 5.1 on the Richter scale. Um, but fortunately, um, there were, you know, no injuries um, or damage in, in our area. Uh, Mr. Ribbon and I slept through it. Um, Maya and um, Desiree felt it. Um, so they woke us up, but, um, 2020, yeah, that was exciting. Earthquakes and all. Yeah, great. Um, and then I have to tell you guys, if you're looking for some other ways to entertain your children, well, first of all, uh, since we've been, um, on this, uh, lockdown, you know, we've been doing quite a bit of ordering of things, uh, quite a bit ordering quite a bit of things from Amazon. Uh, so there's a, con a pretty constant stream of boxes being delivered. And Maya was kind of feeling left out of this whole thing. Like, you know, where's my package? So I have to say she is now an Amazon convert at the tender age of 11. Um, it's so funny, guys. It's so funny. She just gets her little list together, and she goes on Amazon, and she tries to figure out how much money she has and what she wants to get. But the latest thing that she got that I'm so excited about and wanted to share it with you guys is she got a game. 
and it's called Hearing Things. I'll leave the Amazon link to that below in the description box because guys, this game was so fun. It comes with a set of headphones and you put the headphones on and they play this god awful music or noise or whatever and you have to read your opponent's lips as they say a phrase well we had a ball you guys check that game out your kids will really love it and i think you'll enjoy it too now on to my finished objects finished objects guys look meet otto You'll remember that um, I was working on No Yarn Left Behind and looking for cute little things to make with my yarn scraps. And so here is Otto the Octopus. Now I named him Otto um, because I know certain people here on YouTube um, like to encourage me to name my little critters. Thank you, Pamela. And so here is Otto, and Otto is a free pattern by the uh, left-handed crocheter, and I used a 3.75 hook to make him. These scraps are all uh, worsted weight yarn, and I didn't do so bad on the face, if I may say so myself. I think he's the cutest thing. I think it's the cutest thing. So this is Otto. And guys, Otto is mine. Until the day, of course, that one of my 12 grandchildren decides that they want to claim it as their own. But in the meantime, Otto is mine. And he is going to sit right here and keep me company. And I love him. I love him. He is so cute. I also um, finished... And excuse me for bending, guys. I have everything is on the floor over here today. I, I finished the uh, crochet Le Nuage shawl, which I uh, told you that Le Nuage is French for the cloud. And here it is. I am, hold on, let me find, make sure I have it right side up and I'm gonna talk about that in a second okay here it is guys is this beautiful or what beautiful I love I love everything about this shawl I love the stitch pattern I love the yarn that I used it is it, it is it's awesome I'm just gonna put it on for a minute because it feels like a nice warm blanket. I love the size of it. And I'll go ahead and I'll put a picture of it, uh, the whole shawl, so you can see it in all of its glory. I'll insert that here. And what I used, guys, I used um, the Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel in the colorway sunny side swirl that I got last year at Hobby Lobby on clearance. It's just so beautiful. I used a six millimeter hook and I'm sure that you are also aware that I put myself on a yarn band that's right, guys. I am no longer able to purchase yarn. I can acquire yarn in other ways, wink, wink, but I am not allowing myself to purchase any yarn. So what do you think happened, though, after I finished this shawl that I'm so in love with? I decided I love the sugar wheels. I love this yarn. This yarn is awesome this yarn is perfect it's um not quite like sweet rolls it's i wouldn't say that it's a clone of sweet rolls which i also love but i absolutely love this yarn so of course i went online to look to see um you know of course this color has been discontinued 
but there are several others that I want. I went online, quickly put them in my cart, and left them there. So this stitch marker is where I was the last time I showed it to you guys. So I did quite a bit and finished it off. And I did want to ask you about the starting point of the shawl. You see how that is a bit pointy? I'm not sure how to deal with that. And I'm sure that there are a lot of you out there that do know. The shawl started with a, um, a magic circle. And so if you can give me any tips and ideas on how to flatten this magic circle part of the shawl, I would really, really appreciate that. And so, guys, speaking of Hobby Lobby, I've been seeing all over Facebook how people are going to Hobby Lobby to get their clearance yarn. And I'm going to tell you, I feel some kind of way about that. I feel some kind of way, guys, because I really want to go to the Hobby Lobby clearance, but this is actually the very first yarn that I have used from last year's haul. I have no more room for yarn and it just doesn't make any sense, but I want to go. So if you guys want to take bets, you, you feel free, feel free. I say I'm not going. Okay. And I'm even wearing my t-shirt today that says, Life is too short to not buy yarn. Okay? So I don't know what all of this is going to add up to. It's just I put myself in a yarn band because I don't have anywhere else to put it. It's getting ridiculous. It's out of hand and I want more yarn. So there's that. Now on to my uh, works in progress. I'm going to bend again. Please forgive me. I started making the corner to corner tunic tank top, which a design is a design by none other than Priscilla of Distinctive Crochet. And I will link the tutorial in the description box below. And I'm going to show you how far I've gotten on it. So far, I have this much of it, and this is, e this is either the front or the back. But guys, let me tell you something. Okay. Senior moments. Well, before I get into that, you'll remember that I purchased a whole lot of the Lion Brand Summer Kiss yarn, and I was quite disappointed with this yarn. And so I asked, you know, if anyone could possibly give me a suggestion on something that I could make with it. A lot of you guys were like, send it back, send it back. It's ridiculous. But you know me, I love a good challenge. So Priscilla of Distinctive Crochet suggested that I try her pattern. And so that's what I'm doing. And so far, guys, I am really loving the way this is turning out. You know, Priscilla knows I love a good C to C pattern. So this is right up my alley. Now, let me tell you about my senior moments, guys. Priscilla's too. So as I was saying before that scheduled interruption, <clears throat> Priscilla of Distinctive Crochet did a fabulous job on her tutorial for this top. It was, it's very easy to follow, and, um, but I still managed to have some senior moments, guys. The, <sighs> so I, um, followed along and I stitched the bottom part as you see I have I'm using a a gray it's kind of getting a little blown out but there's a gray a light gray and then the top part of it is going to be in white and so 
I uh, stitched this part of it. And of course, she has you take your measurements. Now keep in mind, guys, um, other than a very simple granny square top that I made several years ago, I haven't made any garments. So this is a learning curve for me. Okay. So I made this portion of the pattern and then proceeded to fit it to myself because I figure, you know, you got to keep checking so that you don't make mistakes and then finish your whole garment and it doesn't fit or whatever. So I hold this part up to me and I'm like, oh my gosh, it doesn't fit. I must have done something wrong when I was drawing out the pattern, which Priscilla steps you through step by step, very easy to understand, and I panic. So I says, well, okay, then I used the wrong size. You know, I, I, I'm, let me, let me try the next size. So I redrew it and it still didn't make sense, except I looked at the pattern and I'm like, okay, you are having a senior moment because I wasn't finished. Like, we're not finished going across the bottom yet. Of course, that's why it didn't fit, duh. All right, so I was able to figure that out. So then, <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the chart that she has you draw, which that's really simple, right? Except you see how this here is up here? Okay. That is my first rendition of it. I don't know. Like when I drew it, I'm like, it doesn't look right. So I don't know what happened between her telling us what to do and me actually putting it on paper, made it go up that high. And I'm like, well, then the white part is going to be the whole top half. I don't know. Let me just follow. Okay. So I finally got it right, guys. I finally got it right. And I am taking myself back to the beginning of the tutorial so that I can follow along and get this right. But this is an awesome pattern. It is working up beautifully with this yarn that I thought was a lost cause. So Priscilla... Thank you so much for this pattern. I really do appreciate it. I can't wait to finish this, guys. I, I, I just love the way it looks. And, it, and it's going to feel so good on because this, um, this yarn is sort of like, feels sort of like a t-shirt fabric. So I can't wait to finish this, guys. And I'll, be, I'll definitely share it with you. Um, thank you again, Priscilla. I'm excited. I'm really excited about this um, whip, guys. I'm excited about it. So, oh, and um, in the tutorial, uh, Priscilla is using, I believe, worsted weight yarn with a um, size 9 hook. And because of the, of the fact that I really can't tell what this yarn is. Um, you know, they, they say it's a, a, a worsted weight. They say it's a number four, but it, it clearly is not a number four. That is so thin, guys. It is just so thin. Um, so I used a 5.5 millimeter hook, and that's working for me. So I was able to get gauge. Yeah. All right, so... Um, I have some acquisitions, and as I told you guys, I won a very exciting giveaway. I won Cinnamon Stitches giveaway, and she was uh, showing the brand new Premier Bobbins. I love these bobbins. I love the concept of them. Um, thank you, Jennifer. And let me tell you how quickly. Okay, I know Premiere is not far from me. But honestly, guys, I can't tell you how quickly I got this. I didn't even think. When I got notification from the post office, 
I I had no, there was nothing in my mind that said to me, hey, it's your yarn. But here it is, guys. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful, is it not? I'm gonna take it out of the package. I'm gonna take it out of the package. I have not done that yet. I wanted to wait for you guys. So I'm taking it out. Oh my God, is this soft? <laughs> is this, oh, it's so dreamy. Oh my goodness, guys, this yarn is perfect. I love this bobbin. Um, you are, I believe, able to make this child sweater out of one bobbin. It, it's it's like a perfect fade um, effect going on. Uh, Jennifer showed where it's got little notches in the uh, bobbin, just like a sewing needle. And I kind of see them here without peeling it up um, so that you don't lose the ends of your yarn. <laughs> Guys, I am loving this. And uh, Premiere, uh, once I won the giveaway premiere contacted me to find out what color i wanted and this color is called here we go guys right i don't understand why they don't put it like really big really bold front and center for me let me see if i could find the colorway i think it's cherry something um, Cherry's Jubilee. That's what it is, guys. And so, Cherry's Jubilee, th this is the perfect, absolute perfect combo for me. My favorite colors are pink, followed very closely by red, and then you've got this mauve look in between. And I even uh, told Jennifer that Soft. I can't get over how soft it is. I told Jennifer that even before I saw her video and I saw that Premiere had come out with these bobbins, the very first thing that crossed my mind was, well, here's my opportunity to make another cinnamon fade shawl. And so you guys know I have on the back of my chair here the very first uh, cinnamon fade shawl that I made, which I call my Neapolitan shawl because of these beautiful colors. It looks just like ice cream and I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to get started on my next shawl using this beautiful, beautiful yarn. This yarn is so soft. Guys, I made this using <laughs> Um, Red Heart Super Saver, and it was kind of um, old Red Heart Super Saver, so you could, you could imagine it's really not, it's really not that soft, and honestly, guys, I have not washed it, so it's really not that soft, but this stuff, what a difference, what a difference, I can't wait, I am really super, super excited about this yarn. I am excited, guys. So that's one way to get yarn right without having to go buy it when you're on a yarn band. Just enter some giveaways and see what happens. So I want to uh, remind you guys, in case you didn't catch it on my last video, that my granddaughter Maya is raising money for the Charlotte Ultimate Cheer. She uh, was uh, selected to uh, be a part of the team and uh, they are raising funds and the donations will go towards apparel, competitions, and other items that they need during the competition season. Your support is vital to the success of the program. I want to thank everyone who has made a donation so far it means a lot to her and it means a lot to us thank you so much i'm going to leave a link below in the description box 
Um, and I would ask that you consider donating to such a wonderful, wonderful cause. Now, also, um, I want to remind you guys that I do a monthly random act of kindness drawing. And what I do is I go back to all of the videos that I posted in the previous month. I choose the video that has the most comments, and then I choose a recipient from those comments. So go ahead, guys. Give me some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Tell me what you're up to. I love it. I love to stay engaged with you guys. We are also still uh, going strong on the Facebook group, uh, Black Ribbon Crochet Studio, and... That's going to be all that I have for you guys today. We're going to end this video with words of inspiration as I try to always do. And this time I want you to remember to live while you're busy surviving. That's going to do it for us this week, guys. I want you to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. Thank you so much for sharing my videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hit the bell so that you could be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Have a good week, guys. And remember, now more than ever, remember love. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.